do a quick video for you. As you can see, I got a ton more fermenters, obviously. I only got five. So these are big mouth bubblers. Some people have heard of these, some people haven't. When you're getting into home brewing, just kind of wanted to give you kind of what these look like. This one's a six and a half. I believe this one's five. I wanted the smaller one for a secondary fermenter, but I kind of wanted to show you the difference. There's your size, your height's still similar, just uh, width wise a little different. And I also wanted to show you kind of what's nice about these and kind of what people complain about. But the pop-off lid, as you can see, nice, big, easy to get in there and clean. Some people don't like plastic. They worry it scratches, but I kind of grown to like these because I don't really have to worry about dropping them. This is a complaint somebody had. The seal looks good. Some people turn them upside down. Major complaint, if I put it in now, yeah, it looks like it's sticking there pretty good. But usually, for some reason, they will they will tend to actually, the yeast won't pull that lid off. So, kind of came up with a trick for that, which is really simple. But before I get into that, I just kind of want to show you how an airlock works on them too. Just your airlock cap, no biggie, just like your glass one. Standard one piece airlock on this one. We just kind of feed that one in. Normally I put a little sanitizer on there while I'm doing it, it goes in a lot easier. Or even your three piece airlock, no different. And again, I usually just put a little sanitizer on there to get my airlocks to stick. And obviously that one's not going in there too tight. As you can see, I got my grommet in there pretty tight, but might want to go a little different route with one of these guys and do it that way. No biggie, either or. And now we're, we're tight again, all air sealed. So in practice theory, they're actually pretty sweet. But like I said, the major problem I've witnessed and myself and people complain about is the top pops off. My solution is really simple. Five pound Olympic weight. Buying these at a local uh, sporting goods store. I think I'm paying, uh, I don't know, three, four bucks a piece for them. Uh, Amazon has them for cheaper than that, I think. All I do, put my weight over there and I'm done. And with that, they kind of work pretty good. So why do I like them? Obviously, I bought five of them. They're easy to clean. The biggest thing, lighter weight than the glass. And some people are really you're gonna worry about the weight. Well, here's my argument, guys. If you got five gallons of beer in there plus water or whatever, and let's say you're at even ten nine pounds per gallon, you're at forty-five pounds plus the weight of a car boy. And I carry mine up and down a flight of stairs, so frankly I'm kind of nervous about dropping one and I don't know what it is in my head when I carry the glass one down it always freaks me out that's why I'm moving my glass from the secondary but overall when you add, when I add the weight to them I'm pretty happy with it and both oops that wasn't good both um, airlocks Work just fine in that. That one sits on the top. If I push it down, there's still plenty of room with Olympic weight. If you do the weight trick, though, make sure you get Olympic weight because what you're concerned about is that size of that circle in there. If you get that size of circle and Olympic weight, you're fine. You know, like I can show you that. That airlock is just barely going to go through there, and that's fine too. I don't really care. So it adjusts your airlock, and that's why I like them. Easy to sanitize them, easy to wrench out. Never really had a problem with cleaning them. And like I say, the airlock grommet sits in there really nice. I believe that's a size five, just your standard airlock grommet. And then when I'm done with them and got them all cleaned up, and I'm not using them, what I will do is I will put them, keep this bag that they come with, and I will just stick that bag back on and now it's tight and good for dirt. So not a problem. Sort of why I like them too. Um, glass carboy ain't a big deal. Take a plastic bag and a rubber band. But everybody has their own. But I know the reviews aren't really great on these things because the lid does pop up. But like I say, this will do the trick. So 
encourage you all to check it out. We'll see more videos. We'll see more Brewer coming. So we'll probably see a lot more of these guys in action. And I hope most of them, except for maybe the little guy, doesn't sit idle. But he, that one probably won't either because I got some ideas where I'm going to have to move beer to secondary and primary. The reason for that is fruit and other additions. But as always, please hit that like button if you're on Facebook, YouTube. Please subscribe. Even some of the Facebook people, please consider coming on YouTube. More subscribers over there. Get a little chance to make some ad revenue. Um, hopefully you like this short video. I know I haven't made one for a while, but been super busy. But was kind of excited about bringing these to the table. No pun intended. And showing you those. Next time around, I'm going to try to do three three gallon batches again. I'm going to get either in the beer smith or brewer's friend and go from there. And... I tried to show you the brewer in the bag setup I came up with. I'm still running my 10 gallon kettle. Been kind of looking for a 20 gallon, kind of thinking about Edo Metal or, you know, that's kind of I think where I'm set on right now. The other ones that Northern has, the name's escaping me right now, but they're a cheaper model. I don't know what I think about those, but anybody that's a home brewer watching this video have a recommendation on a 20, 20 gallon kettle where I should spend my money. Please hit that comment button. I'm um, just kind of convinced 20 gallon would be going to go the way with brewing the bag. But uh, once I decide on that, I will definitely show you that. And go figure, my phone's ringing. But I will definitely come with that. And I'm going to try to get you another video on basically brewing the bag method. So until next time.